welcome to Airin channel and welcome back to sheet metal course. We are now starting to look at more advanced sheet metal features and this one will cover miter flanges. Now miter flanges are a tool that are quite easy to misunderstand but basically it's a tool that allows you to throw a series of flanges on one or more edges. So in a way it's pretty similar to just a basic edge flange but a big advantage is that we can actually sketch the flange profile so we can make more complex flanges without adding lots of different features. The best way to explain this is probably to give an example. So let's open the current base flange bar. And then just delete all of the extra features except for the base flange. So let's delete everything that was added in the previous video. So we should just have a base flange. That's 200 by 100 millimeters. To add the miter flange, first we need to sketch a profile and this needs to be perpendicular to the edge of the flange. So for example, if we want the flange to be along here, we need to sketch on this end face here. Let's try that now. Let's zoom in, select that face and start a sketch. Then we can go to a normal tooth view. If you don't have this little menu view open, we can just press the spacebar to open it. Then let's zoom in a little bit and just start drawing our flange profile. This can either be straight lines or arcs, so let's start with a straight line. I'm just going to get the line tool, and then go directly upwards from the top corner by about 20 millimeters. So we should have a sketch like this on this face. I'm just going to get the smart dimension tool, and add a 20 millimeter dimension there. So looking at it in 3D, we should have a sketch on the small end face, going directly vertically upwards that's 20 millimeters long. Now we can use this to create the miter flange. So let's go to the sheet metal tab, and this is the miter flange option. It's the next one after the edge flange. Select the option, because we are still in the sketch. We've automatically got this preview. And we've used the line that we drawn to make a miter flange along this edge here. And we can see even though we drew a straight line, the band is automatically added down here. We can also change the flange position by clicking these options here on the left. And no matter which one we select, we've always got the band added in the corner there. Now if we wanted to add extra edges, we can just select the edges like this. As long as they're adjacent to the initial edge. And we can go all the way around like this one. If I delete those edges, and then just add the first one back again. And then if I try to add, say this one, on the left hand side, we can't add this because it's not adjacent to the original edges. So the edges always need to be connected to each other. So we're creating a line of edge flanges like this. So in this respect, we can think of it a little bit like a swipe post space, just in a normal SOLIDWORKS bar. So the straight line here is acting as the profile sketch, and then the edges here are essentially acting as the path sketch, so they always have to be connected to each other. And then we can press OK to add those new flanges. So why would we bother using this feature instead of just using something like a normal flange? Well, there's a few different benefits. The first one is quite simple. Let's edit the miter flange sketch by expanding the miter flange feature and then editing the sketch underneath it. And let's delete the vertical relation on that line. So we can either select the line and then click on this little icon and press delete. Or we can select the line and then select the vertical relation here on the left and press delete. It's exactly the same thing. So now this line isn't fine vertically and we can move it around like this. So let's set a new angle something like 120 degrees from the horizontal. Now, if we exit the sketch and we take a look at the flanges, we can see in the corners, we've actually maintained the correct gap all the way around. You might remember that when we used the edge flange with this wall angled outwards, then we got an increasing gap here. To show you what I mean, I'm just going to track back above the miter flange and then add some similar flanges but using the edge flange feature. So we are going to click edge flange and then we are going to add some flanges using the same size. I'm going to make it 60 degrees, 20 millimeters long and I'm going to select these three edges. And then if we press OK, we can see here's in the corners, we've got this increasing cap. But if we suppress this feature and then drag back below the miter flange feature, we can see the gap is actually maintained all the way up. So this is a really useful little feature. So now in the corner there, we've got that proper mitre joint. 
And this is actually where miter comes from. It's a term in woodworking. When you chain two pieces of wood together at an angle. So that's a nice little extra feature. It's quite useful. But the main use for miter flanges is that we can actually draw a more complex profile for an edge. It doesn't just have to be a single line or not. Let's edit the miter flange sketch again to demonstrate this. So expand the miter flange feature and then edit the sketch underneath. Then if we go normal too and zoom in on the sketch, and this is what we've got at the moment. Just a single straight line angled at 120 degrees. But we can actually add a lot more detail to this. So we could cut the line tool and add something like this. Just going to add some dimensions as I go. I'm going to make all of these 10 millimeters. And then once done, can you exit the sketch? And you should see we've got really quite a complex flange that goes all the way around. And it's mitered correctly in those corners. So the corners are joining at the correct angle. You'll also notice that even though our sketch had sharp edges, so if we look at the underlying sketch here, we've got these sharp corners. The bands have actually automatically been added. We can also flatten this part by pressing the flatten button. And we can see how this part will be folded up into a flat sheet. So hopefully you can see the value of this tool, especially if you're working with a bit more of a complex flange shape. It might take a little bit longer to draw the initial sketch, but imagine how many separate flanges we would have needed to create this shape and then we still wouldn't have had this correct corner gap. So to recap, the miter flange tool allows us to create these complex flanges using just a single sketch. Firstly, you'll have to draw that flange profile, and this sketch has to be on a face that's perpendicular to the edge where we want the flange. Then we can select the sketch, and then select the miter flange tool, which is here on the sheet metal toolbar, and then just select the edges where we want the flange. Remember, the edges have to be adjacent to each other. We can use simple profiles, so just something like a single line, and that will help you have the correct matter or corner gap there. Or we can use really quite complex sketch like we have here. One thing to note with the miter flange is that even though we can make quite a complex edge like this in SOLIDWORKS, it might be hard to actually physically make all of these bands without the bending tools flashing on different edges. So we should always try and think about things from a manufacturing point of view. In the next video, we are going to look at the hems, which are way of folding the sheet over on itself to improve the edges of our design. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you like, I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.